Hello everyone, thank you for coming back. This week we're gonna be covering the all sound and other things, but it's the Modest Mama 5. We're gonna be doing sounds, letter sounds. Like us, subscribe, leave a comment on certain subjects you would like for us to share or to talk about. Maybe your stammering readers are having issues and we can talk about it. Thanks for coming by, let's get to it. So we're covering the all sound, right? So we're gonna do the all sound. We're gonna focus on writing the letter D and B. Some kids have trouble with, uh, you know, seeing the letters for what it is. Some kids are dyslexic and they write the letter D backwards and thinking it's, you know, a B, right? So we're gonna cover that. Then we're gonna cover first uh, grade sight words. We're gonna go over the A consonant E and I consonant E. Um, sounds. So the E hits the um, A and E hits the I making A or I, you know, the long sound. So a consonant, right, is a letter or a sound in, our, in the alphabet that is not a vowel. So a consonant is any letter in the, in the alphabet that is not A, E, I, or U. So that's what we're going to cover today. Are you ready? Let's go. The all sound, right? All sound. It has many functions, it has many letters, it has, you know, many spellings too. So, we're gonna cover that. So these are a couple words I'm gonna write with the AU sound that makes the, the all sound, right? So you have aunt, author, autumn, and auto. Right, so a U sound makes all, a U sound makes all, a U sound makes all, a U sound makes all. Then we have a U G H, a U G H sound makes all. I'm gonna change my marker because it's, it's drying out. <laughs> I write a lot, sorry. So you have, oh, this one is dried out too. What are we gonna do? Let's find some more. Found some more. <laughs> Always be prepared. These dry markers are um, are great, but they don't last long, especially if you're always writing. So I get mine from the Dollar Tree. So you can always, you know, rack up at the Dollar Tree. It's only a dollar, right? <laughs> okay, so let's get back to AUGH sound, right? AUGH sound makes all. So you have daughter. And then you have caught. So A U G H sound makes all. A U G H sound makes all. Daughter. E R sound makes er. Caught. My daughter likes the color purple. I caught him taking a bag of chips, you know, or stealing a bag of chips. Right? So now we're gonna do a W sound makes all. So you have saw, paw, dawn, and raw. Right? So saw, a W sound makes all, a W sound makes all, a W sound makes all. A W sound makes all. So you have saw, pawn, dawn, raw. And that's a W sound makes all. Next. So we have O U G H sound makes all. And you have that in thought, thought, bought. Fought 
and ought. So O U G H sound makes all, 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 right? So T H sound makes th, ought, thought. I thought about it and I didn't. Bought. I bought some chips. Fought. No one wants to fight, but I fought an owl. It was hovering my head, so I fought the owl off of me. <laughs> ought. You ought to do this. Ought. A U G H sound makes all. You can always pause this video if I'm moving too quickly, you know, to review with your, your stamming reader. So don't think I'm going too fast where you can always pause and write your notes. So we had the letter O. Now some people, you know, may say, well, how can O sound like O? But in certain words, it sounds like O. So you have often, O, right? Often, O, this, and call, fee, O, Tin, office, call, fee, or off. Off. Off, 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 off. Coffee, office, often, off. Off. O sound can be off as well. Okay. Then I think it's the last one. The letter A. Letter A can make many sounds too. And in this case, the all sound. So you have all, all, all right, all ready, and although. All, A, all. And normally, the A will make that all sound because there's an L in front. It's, you know, coming after that A. So all, all right, I-G-H sound makes I, all, ready. Sometimes E-A can be E. Sometimes E-A could be E. But in this case, it's E in all, ready. Although. And then, look, so we were going over the all, right? Sometimes O-U-G-H sound can be all, like cough, right? Cough or thought, right? But although, O, oh, sometimes O-U-G-H sound can be O, oh, but that's, that's another lesson. Let's just fo focus on the, the all sound. Like I said, the English language is really tricky because there's so many sounds, so many different letters. You have to know your phonics in order to read, you know, your words. Okay? So now we're going to focus on the letter D and the letter B. Some kids really get this confused. Some kids would think this is a B and write dig and say big. Some people think this is D and write big and say dig. So when it comes to the letter D, right, it's basically practice and repetition. Practice and repetition. Sometimes, you know, you, you can tell your child a D looks like an upside down P, which it does. Or you just write different D words. Simple D words to help them understand that as, as many times as you write the letter D and practice it, it's going to come and you're going to recognize it. This, um, dyslexia is not bad. It's okay to get things wrong, so just practice. So you have D for dog, D for dirt, D for dig, dig for dot. So when your child is writing the letter D, Help them practice while they're writing and say D for, you know, and write the word, the D word. And then you write B. Say B for big, B for barked, B for burn, B 
for bite or bit or B for bag. The more you practice, the better you will be. It's just repetition. And then you can do, you know, write a whole bunch of D's and B's sporadically. And then have them circle. Where's your D? Have them circle it in different color um, pencils. So use two, two, I mean, crayons. Have them use two, <clears throat> excuse me, of their favorite color crayons and have them circle it. So you can say, find me the letter D. Circle it in that color. Find me the letter B. Circle it in that color. Find me the letter B. Finding the letter D. It's just repetition. The more they see it and do it, the better they will get. Okay, so that's B and D. Next, we're gonna work on some sight words, some first grade sight words. Okay, I know it's a lot of words, right? It's a lot of words, but these are the most common words that first graders may get wrong and may have a problem with understanding. So I'm just gonna read through the list read through the sounds and then you can always go back and review over it pause practice and write your notes down with your babies and trust me they're going to get better so you have ran a n sound makes an black bull ack c cake sound makes k good good new e w sound makes u new now O W sound makes ow now our O U sound makes ow our out O U sound makes ow out please P L sound makes pull E A sound makes e please keep up with me keep up with me saw A W sound makes all that's one of the words or sounds we learned today all A U A W sound makes all Saw, away, dotted A sound makes a, a, dub, a Y sound makes a, away, big, I G sound makes ig, big, down, O W sound makes ow, down, find, that's a long I, find, funny, un, U N sound makes un, and at the end of the word, most of the times, the Y sound makes I or E. So sometimes your son or daughter may say funny or funny. Let them say it wrong. So if they see it and say it wrong, they'll say, well, that can't be funny. It has to be funny. Help. E L sound makes L. Help. Pretty. Pr. P R sound makes pr. Itty. Hers. E R sound makes er hers little lit it I T sound makes it L E sound makes old little run U N sound makes un run make the E is the A make an A say A make soon soon they T H sound makes th E Y sound makes a, E Y sound makes a, they. We're almost done. Stick with me. E hits the I, make an I say I. Ride, ride, ride. Under, U N sound makes un, E R sound makes er, under. Came, E hits the A, make an A say a, came. Came, came. Want. Dot A sound makes a uh, want. Well. L. E L sound makes L. Well. What. W H sound makes wa. Wa. Dot A sound makes a uh, what. What are you doing? White. W H sound makes wa. E hits the I sound, make an I say I. So that's white, white. All right, so we're gonna do the A blank E and the I blank E words. 
remember the the e hits the a making a say a and the e hits the i making i say i so we're focusing on the long i and the long a sounds for these words so lake this is lake because the e hits the a making a say a lake cake make kale kate ate bake state S T sound makes st state. The E hits the A making A say A. So that's state. Thick, take. I blank E sound makes I because the E hits the I making I say I. So bike, like, lime, dime, ride. Remember, if you see a word like rid, that's rid. But in order to make rid sound like ride, you have to add the E. So adding an E makes the short I turn into the long I. So that's rid, add an E, now it's ride. D-I-M is dim, add an E is dime. You're holding on strong, you're learning, you're paying attention, you're getting better. So now we're gonna focus on some sentences. So these are just some words and sounds that we covered already, but we're just gonna write it down and you're gonna practice it, okay? We're gonna work on it. So what does that say? We ate cake. Remember the E hits the A, make an A say A. I. So what does that say? I like to play. Remember the E hits the I, make an I say I. I like to play. So what does that say? You made good food. You made good food. Made. The E hits the A, make an A say A. Me and you. Me and you are learning. <laughs> a big tree. So, that's a B, B, B for big, B, B, B for big, A big tree, T R sound makes tr, E E sound makes E tree. Almost done, my little first graders. D D D for dig. Dig up a tree. Dig up a tree. My mom, you today. What's that word? Saw. A W sound makes all. My mom saw you today. Saw. That's the all sound we learned today. We have one more. Do you like trucks? Do you like trucks? The E hits the I, make an I say I like. D, D. D for do, D, D, D for do. Well, that should be it for today in our words, in our sounds. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's kind of long, but it's refreshing because it's going over words, it's going over sounds that you're going to know that you're going to have to understand when you're reading and when you learn how to write.
So have fun this week. Have fun next week. And thank you, thank you for visiting the Modest Mama 5. Like, subscribe. Most definitely leave your comment down below. We want to hear more from you. See you later.